Okay, so if we come to Google's own doc here about quality score, you're going to see a couple different things. So how it works is it's a scale of 1 to 10, with 1 being the lowest and 10 being the highest, obviously. And it's basically a rating of your overall user experience. You can see right here. See it as a general guide for whether your ads and landing pages are useful to someone looking at your advert rather than as a strict code to adhere to. So basically all Google really cares about is user relevancy. They want to make sure that the, <clears throat> the, the keyword that's being searched is pulling up ads that are extremely relevant to that keyword and the ads are that go to the landing page it, the landing page is extremely relevant to the ads and the keyword they want everything in sync that's the most important thing to understand when you're using adwords is all they care about is relevancy now they measure this with quality score on the back end in the adwords campaigns as i said one through ten and here is the factors into quality score and again it's still a little bit of a mystery to most people we don't know how much weight each one of these carries so it's kind of the best guess. The best thing to keep in mind, honestly, is try and make everything you're doing as extremely relevant as possible, and you shouldn't run into any problems. It really comes down to that. So the first one is expected click-through rate. It's how likely is someone to click your ad when Google serves it for the keyword they type in. That's really out of your control. It's basically Google looking at what you've done and deciding what your expected click-through rate is. So obviously the, the most... The more relevant your ad and keywords and ad groups in your campaign structure is, your landing page, everything, take that into account, is the expected click-through rate. So you want to have everything as relevant as possible to get the best expected click-through rate with that. Next is ad relevance. Does the ad make sense to appear when someone searches for a particular keyword? Again, this all goes back to working your, keeping your ad groups extremely tight with extremely tight keywords and match types and making sure your ads in those ad groups are relevant to the keywords in the ad groups. It's like I said, it's it's all has to be in sync. Okay. So ad relevance is really important. And um, it, it's important to work some of the keywords or I call the root keyword of the ad group. So let's say we have an ad group called Philadelphia Roofers versus like, you know, roofing company. So those are two different ad groups. In the Philadelphia Roofers ad group, we're going to make sure we have the word Philadelphia Rivers in there. And Philadelphia worked in a couple different ways. It's important to do that when you're doing your ads. The next is landing page experience. Does the information on the landing page correspond to what the ad is offering? Vice versa. Also is important to understand is landing page speed. If your landing page is loading really slow, it's going to be a problem. you got to have keywords worked in the landing page. It's why it's honestly best practice to have different landing pages for, for different ad groups. I mean, there's... There's a couple different best practices to that, but for the most part, if you're doing completely different ad groups, it's important to have different landing pages because you want to have the best quality scores possible because you're going to pay less per click. That's the whole point of quality score and why we care about it is we get leads cheaper when we have a higher quality score. So yeah, that's that's the three main things, expected click-through rate, ad relevance, landing page experience. So in our in our past, how we've increased quality score is just by simply readjusting the campaign and the landing pages. So what we do is tighten everything down. We get we go into each ad group, we tighten down the keywords to make sure they're hyper relevant along with the ad copy for that ad group and the landing page that that ad group is going to. So that's some of the best things you can do is just tighten everything down. Even if we only have to have 5 keywords in an ad group, that's fine. It does it, trust me, as long as they're they're good keywords with high intent, they're going to turn into leads. Okay? So it's really important that you understand that relevancy is all they care about. So once again, ad group has to have relevant keywords, tightly themed keywords with high intent. Okay, what do I mean by high intent? I mean, so if, let's use the roofing example again, high intent. Somebody who says, um, who searches Google for roof leak repair, Philadelphia. That's a high intent. They have a problem that needs to be solved immediately. That's a high intent keyword. So you want to have keywords like that in your ad groups and you have them tightly themed. themed. And like I said, so if we have if we have an ad group with that's uh, about someone searching for a roof leak repair in Philadelphia, every friggin' keyword in the ad group has to be about leak leak repair in Philadelphia. You're not going to have leak repair in Mexico or leak repair in, uh, what's a suburb of Philadelphia? Doylestown. You're not going to have, you, you're going to create another ad group for that stuff. You see what I mean? Everything has to be very tightly themed. So your keywords have to be tightly themed. Your ad text for that ad group has to be tightly themed with keywords worked into it. And the landing page it's going to has to be tightly themed and fast. Very important that your landing page is fast. And also tightly themed with the keywords. Okay? So those are just a couple things. The computer just turned off on me. 
those are a couple things to keep in mind when you're trying to create your AdWords campaigns and you're keeping quality score in mind. So if we scroll down here, you can even see how to improve your quality score. Google uses a unique algorithm to determine your keywords quality score. Improving it may mean making adjustments to your keywords, your ads, or even your website. Come on, didn't I just say that? <laughs> so that's it, guys. I mean, just keep that in mind. Relevancy is all they care about. They want the best possible experience for a user. If you build your campaigns with that in mind, you'll fly the straight and narrow. You'll be fine.